Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 10.3, the newton raston formula. 10.3 represents chapter 10, section 3 of the Pearson Nailable Maths, Pure Maths, Year 2 textbook. Okay, approximating the roots of f of x. There's one technique that I've covered, and that technique is called iteration. How do we use iteration? We start off with an iteration formula. We use that formula to generate x1, x2, x3, and so on, until we get close to the root of f of x. There's another technique that we can use to approximate the roots of f of x. Consider the following coordinate grid and the following graph y equal f of x. Alpha is the root of f of x. Suppose x0 is the first approximation to alpha. I'm going to draw a tangent to the curve y equal f of x at the point x0. Okay. The x-intercept of this tangent, we label it as x1. Now I'm going to draw a tangent to the curve y equal f of x at the point x1. The x-intercept of this tangent, we label it as x2. Now I'm going to draw a tangent to the curve y equal f of x at the point x2. The x-intercept of this tangent, we label it as x3. As you can see, I am getting closer and closer to the root of f of x, which is alpha. How do I work out x1, x2, x3 and so on? I use something called the newton raston formula. The newton raston formula is the following recurrence relation. xn plus 1 is equal xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn, provided that f dash of xn is not equal to 0. x0 is taken to be the first approximation to alpha, where alpha is the root of f of x. Here is an exam style question. f of x is equal to ln 3x minus 4 minus x squared plus 10, where x is greater than 4 over 3. Part A, show that f of x is equal to 0, has a root alpha in the interval 3.4 to 3.5 inclusive. Okay. For part A, what we need to do is substitute 3.4 into the function f of x, then substitute 3.5 into the function f of x, show that there is a change in sign, and then write a conclusion. So f of 3.4 is greater than 0, f of 3.5 is less than 0. Change in sign, so f of x equals 0 has a root alpha in the interval 3.4 to 3.5 inclusive. Part B, find f dash of x. Okay, so we just differentiate f of x. f dash of x is equal, differentiate ln 3x minus 4 with respect to x, and you get 3 over 3x minus 4. Differentiate x squared with respect to x, you get 2x, so we can write minus 2x. Differentiate 10 with respect to x, that is 0. So f dash of x is 3 over 3x minus 4 minus 2x. Part C. Taking 3.4 as a first approximation to alpha, apply the newton raston procedure once to f of x to obtain a second approximation for alpha, giving your answer to three decimal places. First of all, we know that the first approximation to alpha is 3.4. So we can label x0 equal 3.4. We want a second approximation using the newton raston formula. That second approximation will be x1 equal x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0. x0 is 3.4. So I can write 3.4 minus f of 3.4 divided by f dash of 3.4. So I just put this into my calculator and that there will give me the second approximation for alpha. After using my calculator, the second approximation is 3.442 to three decimal places. 
Here is another exam style question. Figure 3 shows a plot of part of the curve with the equation y equal f of x, where f of x is equal to 2 over x minus e to the power x plus 2x squared. x is an element of the real number set, x is not equal to 0. At a, x is equal alpha, at b, x is equal beta. A student takes a starting value of 1.5 as his first approximation to beta, where beta lies in the interval 1.5 to 3 inclusive. Use figure 3 to explain whether or not the newton russell method with the starting value gives a good second approximation to beta. So, we have to use figure 3. Our first step is to start off with the value 1.5. So 1.5 is here. We can label that as x0. Now, the next step is to draw a tangent to the curve y equal f of x at the point x0 equal 1.5. So here's my tangent drawn. The x-intercept of this tangent is x1, which is the second approximation to beta. Now, I can see that x1 is not in the interval 1.5 to 3 inclusive. So using x0 equal 1.5 as our starting value and the newton russell method, we do not get a good second approximation to beta. So here is the conclusion. You need to write the conclusion to get full marks. Starting with 1.5 and using the newton russell method, our second approximation x1 is not in the interval 1.5 to 3 inclusive, and so is not a good approximation to beta. Don't forget to write your conclusion.